एंड होप यू विल बी फाइन टूडे वी विल डील अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन टू इंटरनेट प्रोग्रामिंग इन विच वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द टॉपिक इंटरनेट प्रोग्रामिंग बिफोर गोइंग इन टू द डिस्कशन फर्स्ट वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड द टर्म इंटरनेट सो वट इज इंटरनेट वी कैन सी डैट इंटरनेट इज ए ग्लोबल नेटवर्क डैट कनेक्ट्स बिलियंस ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स एक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड विद ईच अदर एंड टू द वर्ल्ड वाइड वेब स्टूडेंट्स वी कैन सी डेट इंटरनेट इज अ वे बाय विच वेरियस कंप्यूटर्स आर कनेक्टेड विद द हेल्प ऑफ वेरियस नेटवर्क स्टैंडर्ड्स फॉर एग्जांपल इन दिस वी विल यूज टीसीपी आईपी प्रोटोकॉल सूट वी हैव आईपीवी फोर and we have ip v6 standards now it is set up using cables such as optical fibers we have wireless infrastructures and we have network topologies or technologies we can also say that internet is the fastest means of sending or exchanging information and data between computers across the world now sometimes internet is called as a network now we can say that a network connects computers and servers across the world using routers switches and telephone lines now we can say that internet is the backbone
ऑफ द वेब एज इट प्रोवाइड टेक्निकल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर टू इस्टैब्लिश द वर्ल्ड वाइड वेब सो नाउ स्टूडेंट्स वी आर मूविंग टूवर्ड्स द प्रोग्रामिंग सो वट इज इंटरनेट प्रोग्रामिंग सो वट इज इंटरनेट प्रोग्रामिंग सो वट इज इंटरनेट प्रोग्रामिंग इन शॉर्ट टर्म वी कैन से डैट इंटरनेट प्रोग्रामिंग इंटरनेट प्रोग्रामिंग इज द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ सच प्रोग्राम्स डेवलपमेंट ऑफ सच प्रोग्राम्स डेट आर सेव्ड on the server and transmitted to the transmitted to the client side as a response sent back as a result of request now we can say that we have a client server architecture in an internet programming a client gives a request and server sent back the response after processing the request so in internet programming we have a client server architecture now client is your machine whether it will be a windows xp windows 7 windows 10 it will be a macintosh operating system it will be a unix it will be a linux etc etc now we have two problems of internet programming number 1 is security and number 2 is platform independency so these two term are most important for the internet programming language if a language satisfy these two terms then we can say that it is a internet programming so what is security as i have told you that client will send a request to the server and server gives a response to the client so how can you provide a security from server to client as this data is traveled on a network and in this network millions of computers are connected and this data will be hacked so security is the most important concern 
for internet programming language and the second term is platform independency as we know that client is your machine and on this machine we have different type of operating system we have windows we have max we have unix so the request goes from clients to server and from which machine the response is coming the request is coming is the main problem as the server does not recognizes the machine and if it recognizes the machine the response has to send back in that format for example if a request goes from windows operating system then the response will be according to windows operating system if a response goes from unix operating system then the response will be sent back accordingly so this is a platform dependent behavior so in an internet programming when a request comes from the client the response will be generated and it will be same for all the machine and that will be the platform independency concept so in order to fulfill a programming a language set to be internet programming it must fulfill the security and the platform independency concept in the next lecture we will cover these two topics thank you